All right, change of scenery. Uh, <laughs> welcome to my, my home gym down in, down in my basement. Um, today, um, I was actually able to solve a problem that I've been wanting to solve for a few years now. Um, first, it was put off because I, I was gone last year working for the Army deployed. Um, uh, but now, now that I'm back, now that I'm in a uh, precision machining technology class, I was able to fix the problem um, actually with this treadmill right here um, and uh, let me let me set up and I'll show you what I mean so I built this uh, this home gym or at least started building it about I don't know three four years ago when we moved to Illinois and you know and I've got some of my favorite things in here I've got this treadmill by Nordic track which has been really great uh, for me, it has an extremely high elevation. I think it goes to what 50 de degrees. Um, but after I, but after I built the the shop, the the stupid thing broke. I don't don't know what happened. Um, other things I have in here, um, I've got this Airdyne, this Schwinn assault bike that I ride every day. Um, I got the rings. The heavy bag, uh, <laughs> a little workout machine here, where I can do. I mostly do just pull downs on this. Um, I do a lot of squatting and pulling and all sorts of things on this total gym clone. And of course, you got to have you got to have the squat rack, um, squat, pull, and press. Right. So I got the hex bar and the straight bar. But anyway, not much. But here's my my home gym. And here's the problem with that stupid treadmill. After I got it set up down here, this broke. This is a this is an elevation nut. Let me sit down here. Whoops, excuse me. So this is an elevation nut and an Acme screw threads through here. This stays stationary, held by these lugs here. And as that ac Acme screw um, moves, through this nut, it um, articulates that uh, tread to raise the tread up to 50 degrees, uh, you know, anywhere between zero and 50. So, so that broke. And I couldn't even use it. I couldn't even turn the treadmill on. Every time I turned it on, um, it would try to go through this, uh, you know, this startup sequence where it would test this nut. And since it didn't have a nut in there, it would just spin. And uh, I wasn't able to, to, to use to use the treadmill. So, um, temporarily, let me take it back over here. Temporarily, I 3D printed this one, okay? And I don't know if you can notice that, but it actually cracked. It went all the way up to 50 degrees and all the way down to flat in its startup sequence and then cracked. But it held, so I haven't had I, for two years now. Plus, I haven't been able to uh, to raise or lower this. I've just kept it at uh, <laughs> in the flat position. But now I have now I have fixed that. On McMaster car, I bought a threaded round cast iron nut. This is three quarter Acme thread. Um, this was. Um, three inch diameter which I turned down to 1.99 inch and then I faced it off to um, oh shoot I can't remember that it's about an inch and a half I think 1.53 inches and then I put in these lugs here and here and that is uh, that was a 25 um, 30 second no 25 64 drill bit that I used for that but anyway I'm gonna let me go ahead and try and hook this up to the treadmill and see if it did the trick. I've got this thing installed. Okay. And it's it's hard to see in here. It's held in by these th these pins that thread into these brackets. It's, it's installed in there. This is what I had temporarily fixed it with and it's split right here. This was almost solid fill of PLA filament and it barely held. Evidently when 
when this thing broke. I don't know if it was uh, if it was elevated at the time, and that's why I couldn't get it back to this uh, this zero position. But in any event, let's go ahead and test this thing and see what it does. Let's see if it works. Let's uh, go to speed and cross your fingers. Please don't break. Two elevation. Pump it up. Let's see what happens. Going 10. So that's how that works. Threads along that Acme rod, pulls that nut in, forcing that bracket, and in turn, the elevation right now is set at 10. Let's go to 50. Full cycle. That's pretty. But I think this cast iron will hold a lot better than plastic. This is me getting back at designed obsolesc obsolescence. You MFers making a plastic nut. They just want you to buy a new treadmill. I actually uh, sourced this. I have their catalog. Ooh, it's dirty under there. I actually sourced this. Uh, from them and they wanted an ungodly amount of money I think either that or I couldn't find it I don't remember now but it's more fun to just make it oh my gosh that is that is super steep <laughs> alright set this back to zero okay anyway that was it a dorky little video that just makes me happy because I get to use this treadmill again. Um, it, it let me use some of my new lathe skills to, uh, to turn a piece of stock down and uh, actually mill skills to use uh, a dividing head to, uh, to spot and drill that, uh, that hole. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Catch you later. Bye.